All right, so the question is today, does lead filler crack? A lot of people think that lead filler will last forever. I just pulled out a whole bunch of lead that was on here. This is a 1954 VW door. So, you guys will say, oh, I use lead, I wanna use lead because I don't want anything that'll crack. Filler, Bondo, will probably last longer than this stuff does. I've seen Bondo 30 years old, no cracks, if it's done correctly. If it's put over bare metal, it's rough, use a good quality filler. I've seen people call it Bondo, but it's actually plastic filler. I've seen plastic filler last for years. Well, let's take a look at these cracks here so you, can, so you guys can see. There's all kinds of cracks in there. You can see one right here. That's a big one right there. No, that's a little scratch. It's a crack. It's just shattered all over right here. This is lead filler right here. You can see this is metal. And then it goes, let's get you back a little bit. It's metal right here. Then all of a sudden you see the color change right there. That's more silvery looking. That's lead. And you see that? That's a crack. 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 So yes, lead filler does crack. And one of the old things I always tell people, nothing lasts forever. And what is forever? Forever's past your lifetime. So people that are worried about stuff that's past their lifetime, do you know how well the next person is going to take care of this car? No, you don't know. You're gone. You're dead. What if they just don't give a rip and they drive the hell out of it and they get in a car wreck and you spend all this time, money, metal finishing something, you know, did you really do the world any good? Did it make anything any better? It took a lot of your life away, didn't it? Doing all that extra work or spending all that extra money on metal finish. If you use plastic filler, you can probably get as good a result if it's done correctly, if it's over, you know, if it's not too thick. A plastic filler is over bare metal that's rough, okay, not smooth bare metal. Nice rough bare metal, put it over that. Some plate some fillers you can put it over epoxy primer, it sticks really good to epoxy primer, some of them do. If you have the correct filler, if it's done right, filler can last as long as the as the paint job and as long as probably two or three paint jobs. I've seen some cars I've worked on where they had filler that was in good shape, painted them again. 10 years later, filler still looked good. Car was, you know, probably about ready for a next paint job. But, you know, hey, it can last a really, really long time. I don't know why people think they have to get rid of it or they go with lead and they think that lead is some sort of great solution when that's why it became obsolete in the late years. They stopped using it. It's really hard. You warp the metal a little bit trying to put it on and then it shrinks back down. And finally, when you get it down, you have to sand it. It's a whole lot of work to sand. It's not like sanding it like this door right here. If you push on a sander on this, it'll just, you know, it'll start drumming. And, uh, you know, something like that. You put lead on there, you can't push on the sander at all. You have to just let the sander work, and it takes 10 times as long as regular filler does. So listen, you know, save yourself some grief. Maybe get some good quality filler and uh, use a nice good quality filler and do it right. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.